Yeah, I see a tail sticking out there. Oh yeah. Cool. I knew I drove back in here for a reason. Good job. <laughs> I've been working with birds since the uh, mid '70s when I was in college. I had a banding permit back in those days, and uh, and we also did some uh, rehabilitation of injured hawks and owls. Birds were always my passion, I guess. Uh, started. Uh, watching birds when I was in Boy Scouts, taking bird study bear badge, so always enjoyed watching them. There are some species where in the Oak Openings area was the only place in Northwest Ohio where some of these species are found. So like barred owls, uh, red-shouldered hawks, and broadwing hawks. Thought it'd be interesting to actually do a study. You know, there hadn't been any uh, real efforts to monitor and see what was out here. Here we are now in year 14. We had about almost 50 people attend this year's training class and every year we get new people involved, which is uh, real exciting to see. Angie, John and I have been going out every weekend. We start in January as Great Horned Owls and uh, Bald Eagles start late January, early February. Red-tailed hawks and red-shouldered hawks start their nesting activities generally mid-February or so. Stop. That's the Angie I know. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Cool. Very good. Last season, we had a great group of Metro Parks volunteers monitoring breeding raptors in the globally rare Oak Openings region. And that would include Wildwood Preserve Metro Park, Secor Metro Park, as well as Oak Openings Metro Park. So it's been fantastic seeing many experienced volunteers return year after year and apply their expertise. We've also been able to meet many homeowners in the region that have a bird nesting on their property. And so this program is unique in that it gives volunteers an opportunity to connect with nature on a different level. Through learning about raptor identification and their biology, our volunteers are able to take this knowledge into the field, search for birds, and get to know more about the species through up-close and consistent observations. So with many areas of habitat in the Oak Openings region being restored, knowledge regarding raptor habitat preferences and usage help natural resource managers make informed decisions. I'd like to say that, uh, we, that I do this strictly for the research. Quite frankly, a, a big reason of, for me is just I enjoy it and it's, you know, I, I get a thrill out of finding a new nest or seeing young on a nest and, uh, and I enjoy being out on, on Saturday and Sunday mornings with John and Angie. We always have a good time. Yeah.